Come in your presence, Lord, giving you thanksgiving, declaring that you are worthy of all of our praise and thanks. You are mighty good God. You are gracious God. You are gracious God. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and supplied our needs. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us when we couldn't take care of ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your new mercies this morning and every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Now, Lord, we Pray that you would bless these words that we are about to speak. I pray that we will do the preaching and teaching. And that you would cleanse me and use me for these preaching and teaching moments. Speak to me, speak through me. Let your word go forth. And as always, we pray that the word will become seed and produce fruit in the lives of the hero. Speak, Lord, that I might hear you speak, Lord, that your word goes forth in the name of your son, Yeshua, we pray. Amen. This morning, first of all, we'd like to say good morning to all of you, and we thank all of you out there for your prayers for our family, and especially for young Jalen, oh God, and we, 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 we know that through your prayers and God's faithfulness that Jalen will be restored. Uh, completely, and that Jalen will have a testimony to tell other young men and women about the good and faithfulness of our yard through his son, Yeshua. Now, 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 our text will be taken from three passages of scripture. Numbers, or Numbers, 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good and fulfill it? Second scripture is Isaiah 55 and 11. So will my word be which goes out of my mouth. It will not return to me void, useless, without result, without accomplishing what I desire, and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. Third scripture, 2 Corinthians, first chapter and verse 20. For as many as are the promises of God in Yeshua, they are all answered yes. So through him, we say our amen to the glory of of God. Subject this morning is God always keeps his word. Yah always keep his promises. Today, my sisters and brothers, is a word of encouragement 
and that God always fulfill his promises. That God always make good of his word. So many people are going through tough times right now, whether it be sickness, financial woes, job dilemmas, relationship problems, or it could be things that we are trying to refrain from doing, habits. The enemy comes at us in many other ways as he seeks to fulfill his own agenda, which is to kill, steal, and destroy, yeah. Yeah. and discredit our Father Yah. We read, study, and meditate on God's words, and in his words we find certain promises concerning our situation. So we pray the word, and, and, and sometimes it seems like things are not getting any better. There's always something coming along, one thing right after another. And at times during the low point in our lives, we allow the enemy to trick us into wondering if God really keeps his promises concerning the things that we go through. We even question God's ability to fulfill his word. Uh, 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 we say maybe that's too hard for God. Uh, 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 God don't want to or, or can't deal with that. And one of the reasons we allow the enemy to get in our heads is because we cannot see what God is doing behind the scenes. Are y'all praying with me? All we see is what is happening around us or yes. what is happening in front of us. But trust me, I know from experience that even though we can't see what God is doing, believe me, God is working behind the scene to bring about completion to his word and completion to his promises. Today, we are going to talk about just a few of the promises of God, the promises that Yah has made concerning us. But before we talk about the promises, we are going to talk about the Yah, the God who keeps his promise. First of all, uh, God is not a man not a human, that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? In other words, God is not like us. He does not lie. He doesn't change his mind, and once he said he's going to do something, it is as good as done. Pray with me. Now, 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 sometimes uh, the fulfill fulfillment of his promises might be in the future or in a way that we do not expect. You see, God sees what we don't see. God sees down the road in our lives. 
His fulfillment comes when he will get the glory. Yeah. And God knows when it will benefit us the most. God means every word he has spoken. He will not change his mind about our situation. In other words, God don't go back on his word. So many of us have had prom uh, promises made to us. Uh, uh, then the person making the promise uh, goes back on his word. But understand something. God's plan and promise for our lives does not always line up with our plan. That, that, that's why sometimes it looks like God is not answering our prayer. We expect God to come one way, and, but God come a, 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 a different way completely. Uh -huh. His plan don't line up with our plan. And, and the Lord made that clear through the prophet Isaiah 55, 8, and 9. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and thoughts. Now, I want you to look at the last part of our text in number, Numbers 23 and 19. He said, whatever God promises, God fulfills. And that's what Paul is trying to get across in his second letter to the Corinthian church when he says, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes, yes. in Christ. And through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. In other words, what Paul is saying here that God does not have a capacity problem. You know what I mean? Uh, he's not limited. Regardless of how many promises he made, God can fulfill each one of them. This is said also that the promise God made for our salvation uh, and salvation also uh, it, it includes being saved, but much more. It includes our healing and wholeness, provision, protection, prosperity. Everything we need has been fulfilled yes. and ratified Hallelujah. in Jesus Christ. Yes. Therefore, we can say amen that it is true. This also looks at how, because of the assured, we can trust the promises of God. Isaiah 55 and 11 say, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me, Lord, but it shall accomplish what I, what I, which I please, and it shall prosper in the things where I sin. Isaiah is affirming that God's prophecies, his word will be fulfilled and that his word will always be fruitful. We can count on the promise. In every promises, every promise he has made, we can count on it. Now, we have biblical proof. He keeps his word. Now we are going to look at a few promises uh, concerning us, and then we will be through. through. Uh, the, one of the first promises God said, made, he says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence that the Lord 
is my helper. Mm -hmm. I will not be afraid yeah. what mere mortals can do to me. Yeah. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. And, and, and then John says in 14 and 18, I will not leave you as often. Comfortly bereaved and helpless, I will come back to you. Yeah. And then Psalm uh, 27 and 10 said, although my father and my mother abandon me or forsake me, yet y'all will take me up. Yes. Uh, y'all will adopt me. Uh -huh as his child. God always keeps his promises. He promised that he would always be there for us. We have the confidence that God has our back and that God will help us uh, in the time of trouble. The Hebrew word for trouble is tight space. Ooh. Have you ever found yourself in a tight space yes. where it seems you are pressed on every side yes. and your options are limited? Uh, but Paul is saying here, don't panic. Don't get claustrophobia. But God is there to help you. He, he promised to also guide us. Ain't that right? And Psalms 32 and 8 says, uh, I will instruct you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. One of the blessings of being a child of God, we don't have to go through it all on our own. We don't have to figure out what path to take, but instead the Lord would lead us in the good and right way. Things we try and figure out on our own. God leads us in the right way. He leads us through his word. I, I heard the psalmist say that God's word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path. Uh, Psalms 119 and 105. Solomon tells us that when we trust in the Lord, when we trust in Yah with all of our hearts and no longer lean on our own understanding and we submit ourselves to Yah's leading and guidance, uh, then he will make our pathway straight. God has a perfect Design, divine plan for our lives and he will guide our steps Lord have mercy the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord God has at his disposal infinite wisdom infinite details infinite data of our lives, past, present, and future. He has infinite power that will make things happen. Ain't that right? Yes. Another promise he makes, he has a good plan yes. for our lives. Plan to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future and not disaster. Jeremiah 29 and 11. 
Uh, you or uh, your sure said, uh, 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 you shall have trial and tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. What I'm trying to tell you uh, before we get to the promises of God, sometimes we have to go through dark valley. Sometimes uh, we have to go through muddy terrain. And we have to go through what seems like barren wilderness. But I'm here to tell you that's only temporary. Because after a while, you're going to get to the top. Yeshua is our hope. He shed his blood on the altar. Can I get a witness of the next promise? He promised to meet every one of our needs. And my God shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory uh, uh, by Yeshua. Philipp, uh, uh, Philippians 4 and 19. Whatever we need, God has already provided for. Uh, just a couple more and I'll be finished. He promised to heal us. God would not reverse his word concerning our healing. His healing, uh, uh, Yah, uh, Yeshua was wounded for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquity. Our wickedness, our sin, our injustice, our wrongdoing, the punishment required for our well-being. Get that? Yeah. The, the punishment for our well-being. Yeah. They fell on Yeshua. And by his stripes, by his wound, we are healed. First Peter 2 and 24 says, he personally carried our sin. Yeah in his own body, on the cross, willingly offering himself on it as on the altar of sacrifice so that we might die to sin, becoming immune from the penalty and the power of sin, live for righteousness, for by his wounds, we have already been healed. Yes. Psalm 107, 20. He sent his word yes. to heal and deliver us from our destruction. Yes. And the final promise that we're going to talk about today is Isaiah 54 and 7. That no weapon formed against us. Yes will prosper. No weapons will succeed. In every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you will condemn this peace, righteousness, security, and triumph over opposition is the heritage of the servant of the law. And that is the vindication from me, says Yah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. God is saying it won't work. It won't work. No weapon formed against you. Yah is saying, I. I am the one that made the blacksmith yes. that made the oh, Lord have yeah. mercy, that made the weapon. And I'm in charge of him. And I'm in charge of the weapon. So no weapon formed against you 
Their weapons are going to come against you. But the Lord said they won't prosper because I'm by your side. I, have, I, I, I am your protector. I'm your provider. I am your healer. Yes. And if I say it, you can stand on my word. Yes. So stand yes. when all around you is sinking sand. Yes. You stand on the word of God when all around you seems to give way and you're going down in quicksand. You just stand yes. on the word of God because my God our God, yes. my Yah, yes. your Yah, yes. our God will be there and he will keep his promises concerning you and I. May God bless you. May God keep you and may God strengthen you all the days of your life. I know sometimes it looks like that God has abandoned you and that he is not keeping his promise. But he is. God always keeps his promise. God bless you. We're getting ready to pray. Ready to pray. If you need prayer or you know someone that needs prayer let us know and we will include them in on our prayer when you list your prayer needs uh, one of us will take it off and pray over it want you to pray for our grandson Jalen. He's in rehab and he's settling in real well. And we know and expect that God is going to do great things because God don't go back on his word concerning healing. He don't go back on his word concerning anything he has said that will benefit us. Pray for Jalen's mom and Jalen's dad as they go up and down the road, pray their strength and pray their financial uh, bless their financial blessings will come upon them. Pray for their peace of mind. Pray for their emotional state. Pray for Jalen's emotional state. Jalen's uh, peace of mind. Pray for Monique. The enemy was at it again. As many of you know, she had an accident, I believe it was Wednesday. Car went down into a ravine. She saw, but she's still alive. She's still with us. One of the one of the things that we've been praying and encouraging you to pray, Philippians 4, I'm sick. Don't be anxious. Don't be anxious. Don't worry about anything. But pray. Make your request, your petition known to God. And thank God for what he's already done. And then God will give you the peace that transcends all human understanding. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, our Yah, 
our friend Yeshua and the precious Holy Spirit. We cry out to you this morning. First of all, we want to thank you. We praise you and we worship you because you are a mighty God. You are a loving and kind and compassionate yes, God. Lord. You're a faithful God. You're faithful to your word. You're faithful to your promise. Yes. In spite of our sins, Lord, you still bless us. You're still faithful to us. And for that, we thank you. And now we lay our grandson on the altar again for healing and restoration. We pray that all of Jalen's organs and systems will function like you created them to function. We pray that, that, that his mind and emotions will function like you created them to function. We claim a, a, a movement. We claim a sensation. Uh, 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 we claim restoration to his entire body. And we claim, uh, we, we, we claim compassion for the doctors and nurses, oh God. And, and, and we pray that Jalen will find favor uh, with the doctors and nurses and everybody that is in that hospital, oh God. And we bind any infections, any, any COVID, so anything that tries to come into uh, that young man's room, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. And we plead the blood of Jesus over Jalen and his room and, and in the atmosphere there. We pray for his mom and dad, oh God, give them the strength and the assurance that you are on the case. We pray for Monique, that her soreness will leave. I, 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 and the situation will work out in her favor then, because no weapon formed against her is gonna prosper. We thank you for that. And now, Lord, there are those out in the audience that are listening in. They have specific needs. They have specific requests. You know them before we even tell you. We ask that you would bless them, that you would honor them, uh, 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 heal them, uh, 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 restore them, make uh, a financial and physical uh, uh, prosperity and restoration. We just thank you, Lord, and we love you. And as always, we pray that no evil will come upon us, no plague or calamity will come now out with dwelling. Give your angels charge over us to protect us in all of our ways and our pathways life. There is no death. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We plead the blood of Jesus on all that you made us spiritual, our home, our cars, our uh, our jobs, whatever you given to us, we plead the blood of Jesus on it. We thank you, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 